Whether with German chocolate cake or your favorite recipe, this delicious coconut pecan frosting without eggs is the perfect addition. It is full of flavor and has a wonderful texture that is irresistible. You can't go wrong with this tasty frosting, as it is particularly great for specialty cakes. Though most coconut pecan frosting recipes contain eggs, this one doesn't. It is simple to make, so no need to fret if you don't have any prior baking experience. It is a fancy frosting that is sure to impress your family and friends. Best uses for coconut pecan frosting recipe. Traditionally, coconut pecan frosting is used to make German chocolate cake. German chocolate cake was invented by Sam German, who developed a form of dark baking chocolate for Baker's Chocolate Company. The recipe for German chocolate cake calls for a chocolate cake that is made with melted chocolate. The cake is then layered with coconut pecan frosting. Oftentimes, chocolate frosting is used to decorate the sides of the cake. In addition to German chocolate cake, coconut pecan frosting goes great with yellow cake, vanilla cake, and almond cake. It brings a wonderful flavor and texture to any cake and it is a popular choice among many bakers. You can even use this coconut pecan frosting with other desserts as well. It goes amazing when topped on brownies and also tastes great with cookies. You can even use it to frost cupcakes, as they will be a big hit. What you need to make this coconut pecan frosting recipe. Ingredients. Two cans of sweetened condensed milk. Half cup light brown sugar. Half cup butter. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One and a half cups sweetened flaked coconut. One and a half cups chopped toasted pecans. Step-by-step -step instructions. Step one. Finally chop your coconut and toasted pecans. Set them aside while you make your frosting base. Step two. With your three quart saucepan on medium low heat, add your sweetened condensed milk, light brown sugar, butter, and vanilla extract. Whisk the ingredients constantly and bring the frosting mixture to a boil. It may take several minutes until your ingredients come to a boil. Do not try to rush this recipe by turning the heat up to high. That will mess up the texture of the frosting and you will likely have to start the recipe all over. Step 3. Once the frosting has reached a boil, continue to cook it for 3 to 5 more minutes. While it cooks, constantly whisk the frosting. Step 4. Once the frosting has reached a pudding-like consistency, remove it from the heat. Add in the pecans and toasted coconut, carefully stirring them into the frosting. Step 5. Allow your frosting to fully cool and once cooled, add it to a mixing bowl. Use an offset spatula to decorate your cake or any baked goods. Due to the coconut and pecans in this recipe, it doesn't work well with a piping bag and piping tip. It is important that the frosting is fully cool before adding to your baked goods. If it is still warm, it will likely run off the cake and be messy. Both the cake and frosting should be at room temperature before decorating. Tips and Tricks If you prefer pecan frosting without coconut, you can simply leave it out of this recipe. If desired, you can add another half cup of chopped toasted pecans in place of the coconut. It is recommended to toast the pecans before adding them to your frosting. By toasting the pecans, you are enhancing the flavor and the texture of it. Though you can skip toasting it, it is highly recommended to toast it for the best possible frosting. In addition, you may also toast your coconut if desired. Toasting your coconut gives it a wonderful texture and delicious flavor. However, the frosting will also taste just as wonderful even without toasting the coconut. If you have any leftover frosting, store it in an airtight container in the fridge. The frosting will last for up to 3 to 4 days in the fridge. Allow it to reach room temperature before using, otherwise, the frosting will be too stiff to spread. You can also freeze this frosting as well. To freeze, place your completely cooled frosting in an airtight container or Ziploc bag. Your frosting will last for up to 3 to 6 months if properly stored in the freezer. When ready to use your frozen pecan coconut frosting, Allow it to thaw overnight in the fridge or at room temperature for 2 hours. 
Once at room temperature, frost your cake or baked goods and store your frosted desserts in the fridge for three to four days. Be sure to use sweetened condensed milk and not unsweetened condensed milk, which is also evaporated milk. By using evaporated milk, the frosting will lack the proper sweetness that gives it its delicious flavor. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.